The Polar Prize for 2001 is being award, awarded to an American composer, arranger, record producer, and pianist, Mr. Bert Bacharach, one of the primary architects of contemporary music. Bacharach has been a principal player on the international music scene since his debut in the late 1950s. And now I would like to read a few words of my own. In a world of brash and cheap excitement, Bert is a composer who speaks with a gentle and elegant voice. His inspired melodic and harmonic flights are set free by a daring and unselfconscious ingenuity that is both instinctive and entirely original. When I first heard about Bert Bacharach's song, I didn't understand any of this. I simply felt something wonderful for which there are no words. Bert Bacharach's compositions have been recorded by artists from every branch of American music but they have been played and they have been heard by musicians and listeners all around the world. His incomparable melodies with words by Mr. Hal David shall be sung as long as there are voices. We all know that Bacharach compositions have been performed by the greatest vocalists of our times, so why did he have to go and ruin it by getting me to sing with him? <laughs> you, you see, I, I have had the privilege the education and the enormous pleasure to have written 12 songs with Mr. Bacharach, to know the demands and the liberties with which he inspires a lyricist and a singer. In composing music together, we traded and bartered, phrase by phrase, bar by bar, even semi-quaver by semi-quaver, in pursuit of his musical ideal. Listen beyond that gentle, elegant voice, and there is a driven and passionate artist, one who, drawing on a deep well of shared human emotion, can turn romantic melancholy and longing into enduring and inspiring music. Mr. Bert Bacharach, would you now please step forward to receive your prize from the hands of His Majesty the King. <laughs> extraordinary night. What a feeling I have. Uh, kind of overpowering, overwhelming. You know, first time I ever came to Stockholm, many years ago. I came with Marlena Dietrich to conduct for her at the Burns Supper Club. Long, long time ago. During that trip, I met Stig Anderson, who I think handled some of my publishing in the Scandinavian countries. We had a drink in the bar at the Grand Hotel. And I remember almost the table that we sat at in the Grand Hotel. So this is a very unique way to return to Stockholm. Different and with Marlena to come and receive uh, with this kind of adulation. It's kind of stunning. So I thank you. I thank the singers, the wonderful singers that did this medley. My God, they were great. Um, the orchestrations and orchestra playing magnificent. Uh, I also thank the lyric contributions um, in these songs, collaborators that I have worked with, of course, the brilliant talent David, um, 
Elvis Costello, a great joy to hear him sing this song tonight. Um, and Carol Bayer Sager, who I used to be married to, who I'm not married to anymore, but we wrote some good songs. I'm now married to this wonderful lady right here. So I thank you so much. Uh, it's such an honor to be honored with these two gentlemen over here. I mean, these are great, great creators, Stockhausen and Moog. And to be on the same stage and have received this Bowler Music Award this year with them is great, great honor. One other thing, too, that I look and I see who the past recipients of this award have been. And to be a part of that. Quincy Jones, Stevie Wonder, Elton John, you know, Joni Mitchell, okay, Paul McCartney, my hero, Dizzy Gillespie. If it wasn't for Dizzy and the music impact that he made on me, I'd be selling clothes if I'd still be alive. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you.